Welcome to our discussion on Kubernetes on Superuser TV. I'm here with David. Hi, David. Can you please give a brief introduction and your role in the community? Yes, I'm David Aronchek. I'm a product manager at Google focusing on Kubernetes, and I lead Google Container Engine product management. Uh, I, I like to say that I'm merely a member of the Kubernetes product management group because it really is something that's driven by the community and not by Google. This is something where we all get together and decide what works great for Kubernetes and the Kubernetes project. Great. So for our viewers, can you tell me what is Kubernetes exactly and what are some of the use cases driving its adoption? Yeah, the idea is that running containers is fairly easy. You could just deploy it anywhere and run it. Uh, what it comes to running containers in production, that's where you need something more sophisticated. And that's exactly what Kubernetes is designed to do. It provides a way to run containers across many thousands of machines simultaneously. And in the box, it includes all the things that you're going to need to run those containers in production. Things like monitoring, logging, deployment, orchestration. Kubernetes helps you run containers in production at scale. Awesome. So Kubernetes is a cloud-native, cloud foundation project. What other projects are in the CNCF governance? So as we got the Cloud Native Computing Foundation off the ground, what we were really looking to do is provide a standard for everyone to understand what it means to run your applications in a cloud native way. For us, that meant you need something like Kubernetes, which is an orchestrator, but you also need all the other components that make running an application in the cloud efficient. These are things like monitoring and logging. And so as a team, we have always asked projects to join that might help with those underlying efforts. Things like Prometheus, things like gRPC, which is also originally from Google, uh, things like FluentD. All of these help provide you the ability to run your application in the cloud. Great. And so I've heard of another thing in CNCF called OCI, or Open Container Initiative, I believe. What's the relationship between OCI and Kubernetes? So as I mentioned, the, the essence of Kubernetes is that it takes your workloads and helps them to run in a cloud-native way, orchestrating them across an entire set of machines. Under the hood today, we support a number of different container runtimes, things like uh, Docker and Rocket. But what we really wanted to do is establish a standard for how to run a container or any runtime across a variety of different machines. OCI is one of those standards. Got it. And then we're here at the OpenStack Summit in Boston. There was also CNCF Day, Kubernetes Day. Uh, what were some of the highlights and activities that went on there? The thing that I'm so excited about is when we get to kind of stop talking about Kubernetes and really start talking about the things that people are building on top of Kubernetes. This is enormous customers like eBay and Comcast that have moved their business over to base their entire workloads on Kubernetes. Uh, these are things like really high scale, high demand, next gen compute uh, around things like machine learning. Uh, and, and again, more than anything, it's just seeing all the new users and new projects that spin up building on top of Kubernetes as an efficient, production-ready orchestration system. Perfect. And obviously, this is a very short interview here, and there's so much interest in Kubernetes. Where can I go to learn more about Kubernetes uh, to ramp up on the technology as well as the community? Absolutely. So the, the easiest place to go ramp up is on Kubernetes.io and our own GitHub repository. And from there, you'll find uh, an absolute litany of various ways to engage. Uh, we have Slack channels. We have email lists. We have uh, you know, public Twitter accounts. Uh, the entire community is out there listening and trying to make things better and better. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you.